This is Danny with Quad Lugs, and we're setting up the KK board. This is how I uh, set up the KK board on the uh, Quad Lugs that I fly. And this is on all of them. Of course, you know, if it's a try or whatever, you'll have to pick the appropriate whenever you're, we'll go over it in a little while whenever you go to uh, pick out the motor layout. One thing though I'd like to uh, say is, you know, if you're new to this, get familiar with whatever controller you're you're using. I would, uh, there's tons of great videos on, on YouTube uh, and at a lot of the manufacturers uh, who produce the uh, control boards, whichever control board you're using, and get thoroughly familiar with the board. Uh, it's, it can do nothing but help you out. You'll use it in the future. It's the safest way to do it. And, um, you know, I really think that's the starting point if you're just getting into this. Uh, it works, you know, maybe uh, a little bit better if you have someone that can walk you through it and help you out with it. And then you go online uh, or to the manufacturer's site and start, start researching it. You know, obviously that helps a lot or it, it you know, it does with me anytime I can do that. If you're doing it on your own, do all the research you can. I know I'm carrying on about this a little bit too long maybe, but it's very, very important and I think it's the best way to do it. Get familiar with what you're working with first. So anyway, uh, the next thing, take the props off. I have a rule, anything that comes into my shop or wherever, I mean, I have them in my house also. Um, so wherever I bring a quad or a plane, if it's indoors, um, in, in any kind of confined space, which is indoors to me, take the props off before you connect a battery. It's the smartest thing to do. One time, it can really mess up the hobby for you. Um, when you go out, you have some room, you can move away from it put the props out on them to, uh, you know, fly it around and have a good time with it. Anyway, first rule, I think props come off. Be safe about it. Okay, uh, KK board is uh, like most all um, um, control boards are directional. So again, get familiar with whatever, whichever board you're using. Make sure you understand that, please. The KK board, and this is one here, um, you know, this particular one here, I think this is 2.1 or 2.15. Uh, it has the uh, direction here, the arrow, that's the front. I always, uh, um, in the quads that I build, and that's just a preference of mine, I call it fly with the color in front. In other words, red is the front. So, you know, there's directional, and uh, it would go like this. I think some of the 2.0 or whatever has it on the back side, but they'll have direction on there. If you don't see it, research it and make sure before you get started. It, it won't fly if, it, if that's not right, <laughs> for sure. Anyway, uh, on the back side of this one, um, of the KK board, it's going to give you uh, the aileron, you know, it's going to give you the, the, the uh, terminals here and what they are, you know, the aileron, elevator, throttle, uh, rudder, and auxiliary. On this side here, it's going to give you, you know, the motor layout one through eight, I think it is. And um, the signals on the inside, signal here is on the inside, the uh, ground is on the outside. And, uh, you know, do some research on it if you're new at it. You, you want to be familiar with this, you want to be comfortable with it before you put it in, please. These terminals here, right here, they're you. oh, I'm sorry, these terminals here are used for flashing. What I'm, what I'm doing is, in any new board you get, any KK, you, you need to flash it, you know, and, and do some research on that. A lot of things on the net about it. If you need me to help, please, uh, you know, shoot me something, uh, um, a comment or an email, and I'll do everything I can to help you. Uh, I flash all of mine in all the flights that you've seen uh, me do with the with quad lugs is, uh, I'm flashing with 1.11S2, and that's what I use on all of them. 
you know, there, there's some others that you can, uh, 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 firmware that you can flash to it. Uh, that's what I'm using though. Okay, so what you want to do is whatever transmitter you're using, what I would suggest, and this is already wired in, but we'll make like it's not wired in. Um, you want to have your uh, receiver or uh, combat compatible receiver to whatever you know uh, transmitter you're using. Um, and we're going to go ahead and turn this one on. And I think a good way to get started is that you can. Um, on this turnigy here, um, we'll go and if you go to display, and I think Spectrum is um, Spectrum is uh, the terminology they're using is monitor. Uh, if you go to there, it's going to show you stick movements, but it's also going to give you uh, in order the, ch the the channels. Like channel number one on this is going to be aileron, then elevator, throttle, rudder. Um, uh, and uh, gear and that's the ones that we're going to be you know using that's the ones we're concerned with I think on uh, spectrum um, I think channel number one is throttle anyway you want to make sure of that and then on your receiver you want to if like on this one here on the turgy uh, channel number one is uh, aileron um, well then We'll find our bind port, and this is a limited receiver here. We'll find our bind port, and channel number one here is going to be aileron. Two, elevator. Three, throttle. Uh, four, rudder. Five is going to be your gear or, or auxiliary one. And that's on turnigy. Now, if you go to uh, spectrum, it's going to be a different order. So whichever transmitter you're using, you want to come here and, and you know wire these inappropriately. So on uh, the Turnigy, um, channel number one, and you know the first one right here is going to be your grind, uh, your bind port. And on the back side of the uh, receiver, you'll find your bind port. Now it may list a different set of. Uh, you know, like throttle, elevator, whatever, but I wouldn't worry about that. I would match it up to the receiver that you're using. So find your bind port and then find your, where your number one channel, your first channel starts on your receiver, and that's where you're going to start out. So channel number one then would be aileron. It's, this is number one. Actually, first terminal is bind. This is number one here on the limited receiver, and that's your aileron. And you want to hook it to the aileron on your board. And I, it was just showing you on the back side of the board, it gives you the, the terminals. Um, so first, the first one was aileron, two is elevator, and that just so happened that number two on the board was elevator. Wherever it would be, you know, you use the elevator, I mean, you use that terminal. Number three, uh, your transmitter channel says it's is a throttle. You go to receiver, number three, ties into throttle. Number four on the transmitter says it's the rudder. You go to number four, tie it into rudder or KK. And number five is the gear, and you're gonna tie it in to, to the uh, gear, number five when you receive it, to the gear on your KK board. Okay. And uh, I'll show you in a little while how to double check that and you can double check it before you get into flying to make sure that you've done that correctly. Uh, so we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, now, the receiver needs to be bound, of course, to your transmitter. Uh, different transmitters bind different ways. Check out your transmitter. Um, um, check the manual, see how to bind, how your particular transmitter binds up. Make sure you know your uh, receiver and your transmitter is bound. Need any help? Tons of videos out there. Need any help from me? Let me know. The ESC. If you watch our quick build guide, the ESC uh, uh, show wiring it up on a quick build guide under uh, ESC install. And on the ESC, we're using the Q brain in here. And um, on the Q brain. Um, they're all included in one package, and that's the, the one I'm using on our quick build guide. Q, on the Q brain, I'm using number three, 
on the, the ESC number three to number one motor, number two to number two, number one ESC to number three motor, number four ESC to number four motor. I go over that in a quick build guide. And um, by doing that, when we go to hook up the wires, uh, the white uh, on the key brain is gonna give you um, um, the color of each uh, ESC, the control of ESC of each ESC unit and uh, number three uh, on the key brain is white and just so happens that's carrying the power also so we use that as number one. Um, number two on the ESC is going to number two motor and that's the orange. Number one on the ESC is going to number three motor that's red. Number four on the ESC is going to number four motor that's brown and that's how we have it wired in. Very easy to do. Need any help with that? Please let me know and I'll help you all I can. So now we have our transmitter and our ES and our receiver uh, bound. We've checked the channels uh, on our transmitter to our receiver to make sure we have the right one. We have that wired into the KK board making sure we have the right one. We have the ESC going to each motor wired into the KK board, we're in good shape. We're, what we're going to do next here is that I'm going to reposition the camera and we're going to uh, bind the ESC. And whether you have separate ESCs or the Q-Brain where they're all built into one, you can do it this way. And we're going to get into that in just a minute. So transmitter, receiver, uh, wiring it in, and uh, that ought to be it on that. We'll see in just a second. So we're going to go ahead and calibrate the uh, ESC. So, or ESCs. So whether you have individual ESCs or if you're using the Q brain as we are in this one, um, and all of them are, you know, in one package, uh, you can calibrate them with the KK board all at one time. Uh, what we're going to do, and we're going to go ahead and turn on our transmitter and we're going to we're, go, we're going to go ahead and put the throttle all the way up when we plug this in uh, or put power to number one motor the board's going to power up we'll press one and four you'll hear a tone when you hear the tone put your throttle all the way down you'll hear another tone and then you can release the buttons. Hold them in the whole time though. So we'll get ready here. Throttle down. There's your tone, release it, you're done. Let's go ahead and take the power off. Put the power back on. Just arm it. Let's try. It. There you go. And that's all there is to uh, calibrating the um, ESC. Let me back this out. And we'll go over arming and show the auto level on and off and we're pretty much done. So um, to arm it, um, you'll see on the board, it um, uh, is gonna show that it, you know, when you plug it in, it's in safe mode. To arm it, you're gonna take your throttle and go in, you'll hear it. Now that's armed. Let me pull this up and you'll see that it says armed. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the outside with it. And it puts it in safe. It, dis, it, it uh, disarms it. It's, an, it's not, if you give it throttle, no throttle. Or the motors don't run rather. So that's all there is to arming and disarming it. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. You're ready to Check your rotation, um, like we talked about a little bit earlier. Uh, put your props on after they're balanced. 
in the proper place. You know, you want the clockwise going clockwise, counter going counter. So you definitely want to check the rotation of your motors to the uh, motor layout on the KK board. I showed you a little bit earlier how to get to that. Uh, and then you're ready. The, the, uh, let me show you on the gear switch. Now, if you toggle the gear switch, you'll see uh, the, uh, it's going to show right there, self level is off. And if you toggle your gear switch, let me find the right one, it says on, off, on. So your gear, your gear switch is going to toggle your self level. So everything's working and um, should be ready to go with it. Some of the settings I use to fly, uh, or that I fly with on all of them, um, on everything you've seen me, you've seen me fly so far, if you've been watching uh, or keeping up with it, um, I set the transmitter on 80%. Uh, dual rate set at 80%. Expo at 50%. And uh, that's the, the settings I use for the transmitter. And everything you see me fly, that's what I'm flying with. Great starting point. You can tune it later, increase it, decrease it, whatever you want to do. I'm just giving you good starting points. And what you see me doing with it, that's what I'm using so you know how they work um, or that they do work. So that's about it. Uh, again, this is Danny with Quad Legs. If I can help you with anything else, leave a comment, shoot me an email, and I'll do everything I can to help. These uh, Quad Legs fly absolutely fantastic, and I hope this helped you out a little bit. Um, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.